Hey, this is Kevin Kitchens with Once Upon a Game, and when we did the unboxing of the Band of Brothers Remastered series, I uh, noticed that the uh, trays that uh, came with the game, you'll notice here, they have six slots for putting counters in, which is great. You can see they go, they go right in there and the lid will go on them, but there's a lot of room for the counters to move around. They also included, for some reason, these big wells. And I mentioned, I think, in the uh, one of the unboxings, I thought they were for cards, but I forgot the series didn't have cards. So what I've done is I've created a um, uh, insert to go into each of these to hold your counters. And now we're going to do the assembly. The files are on BGG right now. Um, so let's just, I'll show you how to put one together. So assuming you've already downloaded the files and you've printed them out and you scored them, you'll end up with several different pieces. And this is I'm just gonna show you how to put this together real quick. So start here. This is the shell. This is gonna be the main box that uh, everything builds up out of, and this is actually what's gonna sit down inside your um, inside the wells that they have. So you'll make two of these. Uh, they print on three sheets of cardstock um, each. So you'll do two sets for each each game that you got. So you'll need six sets if you have all three games. So assuming you've already printed them out, or printed them, cut them, scored them, I used my uh, Silhouette Cameo to, uh, to print mine out and to cut them, and I've got score lines here already. So we're just going to put this together. So the first thing I'm going to do is uh, fold everything um, inwards on the score lines. Work toward the into the box as you're uh, building it out. I'll show you. So you can't see my score lines because they're perforated. But once you got everything folded, a little tab. So first thing I want to do is glue this together. For a glue stick because it goes on this one goes on purple and uh, you can see where it goes and then you uh, it doesn't run it's all messy so of course I don't want to knock it over here on the felt tabletop so essentially you're gonna put glue on each of these tabs like that and then you just want to glue them inside the, uh, the adjoining flap bring them together and then just hold them for about 10 seconds. And do the same on all four of them. I usually do two opposing sides first. Because it makes them, uh, makes it easier to work with. You can get the two sides done together. Alright, so there's one side. And what's going to happen is these are going to glue on, and then these other flaps are going to go fold across them and give them some reinforcement. So glue that one on. And then this one. And the good thing about this purple glue is it dries clear. So you can see where you got some and you can just wipe it off. All right, so this is what I call the shell. That's one of the pages in the printout. And then all you gotta do here is just glue. Get a good wad of glue on there. And you fold it over. Now that's gonna cover those tabs. So now they're reinforced on both sides. So essentially you kinda like glued them to both sides. I like to rub it across to kinda get the, all the glue settled in. It doesn't take much glue. Same thing here. Once you've glued the sidewalls, the, the, the long sides, just fold over and glue the short sides. Get them in there. 
this is not going under a lot of stress or strain, so uh, you don't need a lot of glue to hold them. You don't want to tie the corners down. I like to fold them in because sometimes I make these boxes that are going to go, they're going to be outside of a game. Um, so I don't like to have the edges show. I like them to be neat on the outside. Uh, plus, it makes this just a little more snug on the inside so everything fits together. All right, so there's our, there's our shell. The next thing we're going to need is the divider, the section divider. And this is going to split the shell into two compartments. So what you want to do here is when you're folding these, and you'll see this fold several times, you basically have a section, a, a half a wall, a half a wall, and another section. So you're going to fold it in the middle and then fan it out both ways. And the instruction, this is all on the instructions. But essentially you're going to create a peak like that. And then all you want to do is glue one side here. You want that peak to be glued together. You want it to be vertical. So you open it up and you just run it together until everything is glued. And you end up with two sections. Now, where the peak came up, I've got these tabs on either side. And what I like to do is you can see here this is the this is the this wall, but then this comes off the other wall. I like to fold it across just to make it a little more snug. So then the other one you'll do the opposite way. So I have them on each side. And what these will do is when you put it in the box, like so then you can glue it to the sides. Now, what you might want to do, you want to is just put a little bit of glue on the bottom. Not much, just enough to help it lay flat. Put that in, make sure it's centered, press that down, and then you want to take your Glue stick, a little bit of glue here, and what I'm going to do is the game piece here and square it up and press it up against the wall. And you want this wall to be perpendicular in the box. So it's going to hold it to the side here. Make sure you get enough glue. Put your glue stick on there, Turn the piece up, get it nice and square, hold it a few seconds. I didn't get this one well, I'm gonna have to redo that one. Just have a little bit of tongue here. It's still cardstock, so it's gonna be pliable anyway as you use it. So it doesn't have to be perfectly straight up and down. But you make it as close as you can. There's two here, don't it? All right, so there we go. All right. So now we have our shell with our two sections. And then what we need is to divide this into five equal sections. We've got another sheet here. And same principle. You got those peaks, you're going to fold them across, make your, make like your little mountain range there, so you fold in the middle, and then you fan fold them back, because that's where the walls are going to be, and again, a little bit of glue in between. Hold it together. Just a few seconds, all it needs is paper on paper. You don't have to go all the way across, I mean all the way across each each strip because it's gonna hold itself and it's gonna be wedged in there too, so it works out pretty good. I think I had most of the 
direction is pretty self-explanatory in the uh, in the file, but you never know when someone's going to want to look at a uh, at a visual demonstration or need a visual demonstration. I know I do sometimes. So there's another set. There's four of those peaks. All right, and so you end up with a strip with four dividers, which makes five sections. And then the same thing, fold the tabs across their respective walls. You've already scored these, follow the directions, and then the other side will go the opposite direction. The good thing about this is you're not going to probably have to glue any of this. Because what you can do is you insert it into the into the box like so, and then because you've got one going in each direction, the wall can't really move too much especially when there's counters in there. But if you want to glue them down, you can. And you can glue down uh, the section divider into its, into its uh, section as well. So I already made another one. If I were a bigger wig, I'd have, say, a production assistant had done it for me, like on cooking shows. But of course, that's not the case. So I did it earlier. Neat. Same thing. Press it down. As you're wedging all this in here together, it gets really, you know, it gets tighter, which is great. So now you've made ten sections, which will hold counters, like so. But sometimes you you need more, you need fewer counters in the section, and then you don't want them flopping around. So also included are these you know, uh, sub subdividers, these uh, uh, compartment subdividers. Same principle. You're going to make one wall in the middle. Like that. Bird flying. Okay. Glue it together. Got way too much glue in that one. Oops. Fortunately, it dries clear. All right. And then that will just go right inside. That one's going to be glued down. And those don't have the little fins because usually the counters, there's not enough weight on the counters to do anything about it. So, again, my production assistant, me, went ahead and pre made the other, the other nine of those. Let's see how it goes. Pretty straightforward. If I really had a production system, they would be putting these in here. And again, these flaps don't really matter because when the counters go in, they're going to go in. But you can, again, like I said, glue them down if you think that's necessary. And do the glue. But I normally don't even glue the, those down because everything ends up sitting flat and the, the counters hold them. So now, you take your counters, and you put them in. Now they got a little compartment to write in. You can take another, another stack, and then you sort them all. You'll be able to, uh, to sort into smaller little sections as you like. All right. And so now if you take some out, the others are going there, and you can kind of find them pretty easily. So then, when you're done, you have your counter tray. They provide two, which is really nice. And now we've got a little insert. Pops right inside. Here's the other one. So I messed up a couple of these. Got to make some more, but uh, essentially now you have 40 little subdivided uh, sections to put your counters in for the Band of Brothers series. And any of the tokens and stuff, the markers, you can just put in these bins and use them as you see fit. So hope that helps you know how to assemble them. Hope you find them useful. And uh, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.